Hi everyone, today we're going to learn about the spawn point command in Minecraft Education. Okay, so we're going to have a look at this actual command and we're actually going to build it out as well and see it working. But it is primarily made up these two components that we're looking for. Obviously the slash command, which is forward slash spawn point but then the game asks you for two main things is who is your target who is your player basically um, and what is that spawn position that you want to know so we are going to build this one out so we're going to see exactly how it works so what we want to do is we're going to need a command block and we're going to need to place this down and make sure it's connected to a tripwire. There's lots of different triggers that we could use in order to do this, but for this case, we are going to focus on a basic tripwire. So for this one here, I am just going to grab that and also need my string and I need my command block. Remember, if you do need a command block as well, all you need to do is write in the give slash command, so forward slash give at self and then start writing command underscore block and execute that and you'll be given one into your inventory so let's just quickly set this up so this will act as a trigger um, and that is what will set off this command block so let's open up this command block and start writing this in so it's forward slash and then it's spawn and then point and then who do I want to target it at? I just want it to be the nearest player to the command block and when it happens. And then where do I want them to go back to? So I need to know that exact coordinate. If I quickly jump out for a second, you can see up in the top left hand corner of my screen is that I've got my coordinates. As I move around, those numbers move around. And so I just need to make that decision. I need to find that point that I want to stand at and I need to write those numbers down. In this case, I just kind of want it to be back where I was standing at the beginning. And so that position is 494, it's 32, and then it's 247. Now, <clears throat> nothing really exciting happens uh, when you do this. So I'm going to walk over it. We kind of got a little bit of a noise, but all it's done is it's run and it's executed that or set that spawn point for my player. Now I can kind of test it out. I've just kind of set this little button up here, which is just a kill command. So it just automatically is set to, to kill me. But because I died in the game, this is my new spawn point. It's that exact same numbers. So you can see them up in the um, top left-hand corner. Those were the numbers that I specified. So one last time, I go over here, that activates that new spawn position. So it means that when I press this button to basically kill me out of the game it just makes sure that i spawn in that position it's particularly care um, important because we quite often have what we call the world spawn position so where all new players start but when we're building games especially game design if you kind of make it to a level you may want them to restart at the beginning of that level so really important to kind of incorporate this one as part of any good game design in Minecraft. Anyway, hope that one's super helpful. We'll see you again soon.